Bypass Publishing presents Difficult Topics Explained Psychology in the Fast Lane The Brain Functions Humans are different from other animals. We exhibit advanced behaviors such as verbal communication, and this has allowed us to create sophisticated art and civilization. If we look at other animals, bears are stronger than we are, dogs can hear sounds and smell odors that we can't, and an eagle can see farther than we can. Well, what makes us special then? To answer this question, we have to look at the human brain and compare it to the brains of other species. Now judging from this picture showing the sizes of various animal brains, it first appears that bigger is better. However, this is a generalization that requires further inspection. If it is only size that matters, then humans would display less sophistication in terms of behavior and abilities than an elephant or whale, yet we know this is not the case. For this reason, a more meaningful approach is to examine the brain volume with respect to different brain structures. As we know, the brain is divided into three general levels of organization, hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. In general, the hindbrain directly connects the spinal cord to the brain and is responsible for life support functions such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. The midbrain is associated with relaying sensory information to the forebrain, which controls cognition and motor function. Look at what changes as we look across different animal species. All animals need life support, so the hindbrain appears to be relatively similar proportionately across species. Likewise, the size of the midbrain, colored green, varies a bit by species but generally remains the same. What appears to change most drastically across species is the size of the cerebrum, which is the part of the forebrain. As previously discussed, the forebrain is the most evolutionarily advanced because it controls higher order cognitive processing, such as planning and problem solving, that makes humans the most advanced animals on Earth. One factor that is noticeable from an examination of the mammalian brain is that surface area increases quite dramatically from less advanced animals, such as rats, to humans. Surface area increases via folding of tissues into sulci that allows larger cortical mass without a corresponding increase in head size. Increased neocortical or cerebral mass is correlated with a greater number of neurons, different neurons, and increased information processing power. Thus, it is the increase in the surface area of the cerebrum that makes humans more evolutionarily advanced than other animals.